Feet are elevated like so. So we're here. We call this 90 90 position. First thing you do is think about rolling your tailbone off the ground. So you're peeling your hips off the floor one at a time. You don't need to go too high up. Right here is a perfect height. From there, think about turning on the back of your legs by digging your heels into the bench. So pushing down, pulling into the bench. You can either reach the arms or keep them at your side, whatever's more comfortable for you. I'm gonna reach so you can see my hips. And from here, I'm just gonna inhale. And then exhale really slow, twice as long. So. The whole time, keep your hips off the ground. Rinse and repeat, inhale. And again, exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one, think about fogging the mirror. Exhale. Excellent. You can push the chair out of the way. From there, come into a 90-90 position on the ground, so an upright 90-90, which is going to look like this. Next thing you're going to do is lean over it. Feel that stretch on the back of the hip. Same thing with the breathing. Three exhales. Inhale. Exhale. That's one. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Stay right there. From that position, just drop to your side. Go into a modified side plank with the knee coming off the ground. I like to reach the arm. Three exhales. Lots of breathing today. Two more. Press that elbow into the ground. Last one. Exhale. Lower back down. Do a fancy little flip. So flip the hips to the other side. Three exhales. Lean forward. Over that hip. You can use the hand as a kickstand out to the side. So if you're looking at me here. For me, I need to be out here because that's my hip mobility. The more you go this way, the greater flexibility you need. Most of the time, females can get into this position pretty easily. Guys tend to need to be out here. Again, two more breaths. Exhale. Last one. Long exhale. Come down the elbow, bridge up, reach long through that elbow, reach the arm forward. Exhale. Really open the mouth wide. Wider than you think. Last one. Beautiful. From there, come up to an upright position and then flip to the bear, which is going to be right here. So we're right here in the bear. So we got two options now. You can do these hip rotations with the arms up like so, rotating the whole body, or you can keep the hands at your sides. So let's go 10 reps. This is a little more challenging and you might move around a little bit. So if you need to resituate, that's fine. I think that's four. Warming the hips up and everything. Four more guys. One, two, three. You'll slowly like inch forward. That's why I'm getting closer to the camera. And four, good. From this position now, 
bring this leg over to an all fours. So you're just gonna flip over like so. So we're here now on this all four position. Tuck, uh, arch the lower back one at a time. So then from that lower back, we're doing that segmentation of the cat cow. Go from the middle of the back to the upper back, thinking lifting the chest as much as you can. From lifting the chest, think about lifting the chin all the way to the ceiling, looking up. Right when we get there, inhale. Exhale. Now drop the chin down. Reverse it, upper back first, round the upper back. It's very challenging. I am not perfect with this one. Upper back first, middle of the back, lower back. From here, inhale. Fill it all up, long exhale. Beautiful, now press up to downward dog. From here, we're gonna hang out here for five breaths. So just inhale, exhale. Feel free, lift one heel, exhale. Lift the other heel, exhale. Alternate back. Exhale. To the other heel. Exhale. Both heels down. Inhale. Exhale. From there, walk the hands back halfway. I know the shoulders are getting a burn. Lean forward more now, over those wrists. So lean forward, inhale. Pressing the ground away, exhale. Again. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Walk all the way. To your feet, inhale, exhale, two more here, exhale, when you guys are doing this, keep a soft bend in your knees, don't hyper extend your knees backwards, so don't pull your knees super straight, keep those knees nice and soft. Exhale. Slowly roll on up, one inch at a time. Beautiful. All right, now we're standing. Now, let's go into some of our joint stuff, right? So start with the neck, roll it down, roll the chin to your left shoulder, drop the ear to the shoulder, look up at the ceiling. Your torso might be moving here. Try to keep it still. Bring the head to the other side. We're just doing a controlled neck roll in reverse. Let's do that one more time. Gotta train the neck a little bit. Gotta fight against all the texting we do. In reverse. Just move the neck, guys. Beautiful. Now, let's go to the shoulder. Reach really, really long, all the way up. Try not to arch the lower back as you're reaching. Keeping the hand on the rib cage can help you out there. From there, right when I run out of space, I can't take my arm further this way. 
Spin that bicep in as much as possible. Rotate, 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 rotate. Pinky forward from there. Pull it backwards. Reach as high as you can. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And back to center. One more time, your own speed. Planking those abs, keeping everything tight, and good. Other side now, so hand on the stomach. Welcome to everyone who joined, by the way. Reach, 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 reach. Right when I run out of space, spin. Reach as far back as I can, rotate, pinky forward. Pull back, rotate, spin that shoulder. Back to our starting position. I just love how good this feels. Reaching behind, spin the shoulder. Back to our starting position again. All right, next up. So, we got the hip now. If you need to, you can grab onto your chair. Go up as high as you can, right? We're here. You're just gonna rotate in and then rotate out. So just feeling the rotation happen. Breathe in. That's three. That's four. The goal here is to kind of keep that knee in place. Moving through here. That's five. Let's do one more. That's six. Good. Other leg. Same thing. In. Push out, that's one. Push out, that's two. Same thing as before though, you can reach if you want. Three, keeping those abs on. Four. Five. And six. Let's take care of the calves now, real simple. Rise up on the toes as high as we can. From there, roll on down slowly, and then roll the toes up. That one's a little bit harder, but come all the way up. You can reach your arms out in front to offset you, to kind of pull. Makes it a little easier. So you got the back side of the leg, and then the front side. Not many reps, just a little bit, just to check in. And beautiful. All right, we're back over here on our mat, or if you never left the mat, we got our inchworm here. So, roll on down. If you want to, you know, you can do the fancy yoga swan if you need to, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Or you can just hang out there, roll on down. I like to inhale and exhale. From there, Walk on out. I'm just going to adjust my feet so you can see me. So we're in this good plank position right now. Now the next thing you're going to do is we're going to push back into downward dog from here. You can walk your feet up if you need to adjust. Now with the downward dog position, a lot of people are just going to keep kind of like cranking, trying to get their chest really close to the mat here. I'd rather you not do that. So take a couple steps up more so your back actually starts to round, right? Now when you're in this position, breathe and reach. Push the ground away from you. From here, left arm, I mean left leg goes all the way up. And then bring that all the way through to a half kneeling position. Sorry about that, hurt something. So we're here, half kneeling position. Now you're going to tuck your right hip. So right here, just like we did in the warm up, tuck that tailbone backwards. So same size as this, I'm gonna tuck right here, roll that back, stay tall. Lean forward slightly. 
not so much in your hip, more in your actual torso angle. So it's not so much this, rather it's just staying here and just leaning forward with your torso. And now just breathe. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. You might find this stuff might start to burn. That's good. Again. Exhale. Beautiful. From there, come to a standing position. So, right leg comes up like so. Next, grab your leg. Working on balance right now. Pull as high as you can. When I say release, you're going to release the knee, but it's not going to go anywhere. So it'll look like this. And it'll stay right in place, and you're going to hold it there. You guys got it? So grab your knee in three, two, one. Release and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Grab it, hold a little bit higher, right? And again, go. Five, four, three, two, one. One last one, pull it even higher, and go. Hold, five, don't let it drop. Four, three, two, and one. Good, from there, lower down slowly, back to that half kneeling position. Excellent, back to downward dog. If you need to, you can shake that leg out a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Left leg. Comes up, swinging through. I mean, sorry about that. Right leg comes up, swinging through. So we're working our left leg right now in the stretch. So we're in a half kneeling position. I just want to rotate so you guys can see my hip. So I'm not in that arch position. I'm gonna get tall and pull my hip back and get a nice stretch through here. Three breaths now. Fantastic. Now from there, stand up. Go work on that balance. Grab the knee, pull it as high as we can in three, two, one, and release. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull a little bit higher. And release. Five, four, three, two, two. Last one. Pull a little bit higher. And release. Five, four, three, two, three, back down again. From there, bring this knee back, like so. Now we're in a tall kneeling position. Same thing, if we're in this arch position, just gently roll your hips back. That's going to push your body backwards. Reach your arms forward, inhale. Breathe into that lower back, exhale. Two more. Lean back a little bit more. You're going to work those quads. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to make it harder, flatten your feet. You can sit back even more. That is a quad burner. Inhale. And exhale. From there, let's do some repetitions now. Matrix style. So from here, I know your legs are burning. We drift back, you open up, hello, and then you pull back up again. To make it easier, you can go here, rinse and repeat, and you can also just reach your arms forward and pull back up. Let's do five reps, guys. So again, lean back, lean back, and then come back up. Keeping that core tight, long reach forward. Still breathe in, two more. Last one. Beautiful, from here, bring that right leg, I mean left leg, so I have a left leg forward now. 
If you have your chair here, it will be very helpful to be able to hold on to. So, if you have your chair, you can put it right in front of you like so. Lean forward a little bit, flatten out the foot like so, and then we're going to do repetition. So you're going to pull that heel to your butt as much as you can. Exhale, back down. Rinse and repeat, same thing. Inhale, exhale. If you need to, push the chair away and just balance back down again. Exhale. Let's get one more in here. Really try to find that hamstring on that right side. Exhale. Beautiful. From here, switch sides. So left leg goes back, right leg goes forward. And the whole purpose of today's class is really just recovery, activating some muscles, just finding some muscles, especially the hamstrings, and just getting you to feel good so you're ready to tackle tomorrow. Same thing, lean forward, reach, flatten the foot out and contract. Hold that position, inhale, exhale. Back down. Again, exhale. Try to get that heel to touch your butt. Ooh, bounce, bounce. Two more. If you start to cramp, just walk it off. It's not a bad thing. Last one. Beautiful. From there, right leg goes back. All fours pop up. Downward dog. Just hanging out, guys, and breathing. Try to breathe into that lower back. Long exhales. Exhale. Drop to all fours. Push on back into the hips like so. Rock forward nice and easy five times here. Just pulling yourself back with your hips. Really try to focus on using your hips only and nothing else. And this is how you squat and sit down, by the way, is pulling yourself back with your hips. If you're in this position, you can breathe. Exhale. And then go forward, do a wrap. Again, sink back, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Rock forward. Load up those shoulders. Pull yourself back with the hips. Sink into those hips. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. From there, flip around to our original position where we started. Upright there, we call it. So we're here now. Grab your water bottle, you're going to need it at some point, so just have it handy next to you. From here, bring one leg in, bring the other leg in into a butterfly position. Take two breaths here, so your feet are together, your knees are out wide like so. I like to reach forward or you can place your hands on your feet. Inhale. And exhale. Two more guys. Great job by the way. It's not the most exciting or sexiest stuff, but it feels good. 
And as you can see with the exhales, the stretch will slowly improve. Let's just do a bonus one here. Exhale. Awesome, so now lift your left leg up, bring that straight out, place your cup right next to your leg. It's time for a little fun. So from this position, lift your leg up as high as we can, bring it over the cup, tap the ground, and then from there, bring it back to your starting position. Try to do this without moving your torso. So if you need to, you can reach long with your arms, but try not to lean backwards. Just use that hip. Let's do 10 reps. I'm at four. That's five. That's six. Try not to move, guys, just the leg. Seven, three more. Small movements here. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good, from there, bring that leg back to center. Grab your glass. If you need to, drink some water. Right leg goes out, cup goes on the right side of the leg. Obviously, taller cups will make this harder. Same thing, 10 reps. Really gentle, one. Two. You can point the foot if you want. Three. Four. Sometimes the things that look easy, those can be the hardest things. Five. Flex that leg. Six. Last four. Staying tall, guys. Lean forward, make it harder. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Bring that leg back in. Now we're in this position. From here, bring that leg out. Bring the other leg out to where we started. Straighten both legs. Reach to the left. Inhale, and of course exhale. Two more breaths. Last one. Bend over to the other side, three breaths. Should feel a lot of stuff opening up over here. At least I do. If you're really flexible, you might not. One more time. From there, back up to this position, tall torso, upright torso, and then pancake forward. I don't really pancake that far. Uh, if you need to, grab your arms, I mean, grab your legs with your arms and kind of just pull yourself forward. It's not so much about getting your chest to the floor. It's more about just hanging out here and then breathing. So inhale. What do you feel with those inhales? Exhale. Really try to push your arms long like the top of a push-up. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. From there, bring the legs back in again to where we started. 
So we're in this upright bear position. Bring them in nice and tight. Grab your knees. If you need to rotate so you're on your mat fully in a vertical direction, grab the knees and then just rock back. Back and forth here. Inhale and exhale. A little massage for the back. Exhale. Last one, staying grounded. Slowly, slowly roll out on that last one. Sorry for that late cue there. And then just gently pull those knees into your chest or you can just let them chill on the ground. Whatever you prefer, I'm gonna do a knees to chest here. Just make sure those sit bones are still flat on the ground. And now inhale. Really long exhales here to finish. Two more. And there you have it. Stay there as long as you like. If you fall asleep, you fall asleep. Do you need to take a little, take a little afternoon nap? That's perfectly fine. Uh, so like I said in the beginning, today's class is all about recovery, breathing, and just moving around a little bit because our harder classes are on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Speaking of Friday, tomorrow we have the typical ass, arms, and abs, working, plyometrics, push-ups, some glute work, some single leg stuff, a little bit of everything. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message. If you need to see some of the previous workouts, just click the link in my profile and it'll take you to all the previous workouts. Until next time, have a great day.